be one that connects to this though? So I can give you a plate that connects to that. So just the plate. Yeah, I, I think my tripod uh, connects to it. The only thing is this broke. I have another one. Uh, you, you have know? another one that looks like yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yo, that actually might help down there. Do you want to see my uh, tripod first though? No one helping. Okay, it is on live stream by the way. I'm live streaming. Huh? I'm live streaming. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I can bring it. Do you want it? Uh, do you want to see my tripod to see if it fits? Oh yeah, one time I got to talk to... I'm seeing some messages. They're saying a lot of people don't know uh, this, this being live stream, so please share. I don't know okay. if you're sharing on her Facebook share. and her thing. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, just it, but there's about 350 people on them, but I think there's gonna be more. Yeah. Yeah. Share it on all her social media pl platforms. Can they? Can they hear what we're saying? Huh? Can they hear? Yeah, they can hear you. It's okay. 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 Yeah. Hey, sorry, man. So this is the, uh, so this takes, this takes it out, no, we can take it out. Yeah, I you have the box? Okay. I'll bring it. Maybe you have it, yeah, you want me to come with you? Okay, I'll come with you. Like, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of recipes. Mm. 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 I can show you. <laughs> How do you do this? I don't know. What... So, like, right in the middle? Oh, you really. Please. Hello, not sure if you can hear me. Uh, it will be starting in half an hour. Uh, this is just the setup, the startup. Uh, people are entering. We're just showing uh, some videos on the screen. Uh, I'll paste, I'll just be showing that right now, for now. Thank you. Thank you. It's getting crowded. We have pin set up. Tiny books.
just the cushion's kind of gone, but like it's still so useful. Uh, I think it might be tight here. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I don't think this fits into my thing. Okay, good. Okay, I'll keep it. I'll see if uh, yeah. If, it, yeah, if it doesn't work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's about 6.36, should be starting at 7 o'clock. Hey, hello, hello. Hi, Hassan. <laughs> No problem, no problem. It's at 20%. Okay. Yeah. Why is it? Okay.
Thank you so much. Can you put it in your pocket? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so it's, it'll be starting around 7 I told it's going to start around 7 o'clock, right? Yep. Yeah. They're, they were all asking us. Yeah. Okay. 7, prompt 7 start. So. Prompt 7 start. Okay. Thank you. Where are you going? Wait, can you just pick up the arm? Okay, so I should set them first, I should start, right? Okay, the colored one, so that he gave me a new one. Okay. Send this one? Or move forward?
We're starting. We're starting. Yo, I'm 
And then the people who were sitting with him, the first one said, he was a, such a wonderful man. He was good to his neighbor. The second one said, I used to see him always worshiping his creator. The third one said, I have seen him helping in the need. And then he started you know, saying a lot of good things about the Muslim and non-Muslim alike. 
Now that is for the Nale in a nutshell. Look around your table. Look at the people who are sitting with you. From different backgrounds, from different colors, from different faith, from different nationality. Not a normal person has that capacity. So she has that ability to bring all of us together in a loving environment. Allah in her 
are great as the Messenger of Allah said, believer in his grave or her grave, Allah will turn that grave into paradise. That's the Allah. I want to ask her that if she would ask to understand all of her grave, What would you like today? What would you like? Poland, the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, said this about you. What would you think Holland would say about that? Holland, today, Thursday, July 18, 
مستقها يوم العرض اللهم مستقها يوم العرض اللهم احشرها مع محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم احشرها مع النبيين اللهم احشرها مع الصالحين اللهم احشرها مع الصديقين اللهم تجاوز عن سيئاتها اللهم ارفعها في العليين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين وجزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم Thank you very much and I apologize for speaking this morning for those of you who did not understand. Thank you very
one of kind of people. Um, we have a lot of successful entrepreneurs, we have a lot of business owners, we have a lot of accomplished young people, and I think the media doesn't show that. So, and Mr. Immigration Force, hello. <laughs>
So without further ado, this poem is called In the Hill for a Dream. We've fallen into the rhythm of assimilation. Colonizer's tongue masking your own mother tongue. Force fed you the English language so you've mastered how to write, recite your master's tongue. Hack and unpack until you forget where you're from. We've fallen into the rhythm of assimilation. A similar rhythm to conversations about multiculturalism and integration. But our black words were seen as too backwards. So we've lost our identity in translation. Open your mouth to speak, but your words can't break through borders. Drawn with red pastel by colonial imposters, carved nations into the backs of our mothers. Left us with droughts and empty waters. Poisoned our seas and wondered why we turned to piracy. We navigate the tide of two cultures. We think in two languages. Diaspora. We, the children of Somalia, we, displaced, deserted, disconnected from the realities our kin face back home, disassembled, forced to put ourselves back together again, disheartened, disregarded, disappearing like the lives lost on the passage to asylum. We spent too much time in the water. The mud in your body swishing in your belly like a sea that most of us have never seen, of a crime of the murder of our culture and the destruction of our country, we try to find our way home. We, we look at the lives on our palms searching for a map to guide us, but they remain smooth and not callous, missing the ridges of hardship. They are rough like sandpaper with some lifelines cut short. We haven't bled the way they bled. How did we get so lucky? Our parents traded the last shilling for a dream, tried to maintain their deed. They sold their head for a dream, replaced it with skin lightning cream, trying to fit in. In a world that remains from the west and brown skin. In the western side of the world, living in the west end, the red side where Somali women speak to each other in proverbs and poetic passages. Our language open to them, but not. But the halal news stars one stop shop for news, dras, and news from back home. But we fall into the rhythm of assimilation. Colonizers' tongue masking your own mother tongue. Forced to the English language so you've mastered how to write, recite your master's tongue, pack and unpack until you forget where you're from. We fall into the rhythm of assimilation. A similar rhythm to conversations about multiculturalism and integration. But our black words were seen as too bad words, so we've lost our identities in translation. Well, hey, family, which I didn't even know. Manta, how can you 
وقال وش هي يعني انت ما تنرجع تعاوى ود بريدج وحفظي هذا الاخير اه يا انت تلفي شكلنا قد عوانا يسا انتجريشن تي في انا عن القوسنة انا انا انتجريشن تي في هراء وصعونية وانا هراء وقوة انا هراء الله وضيع انا قروح دي وناقة انا قنقة صومالية ميرو البلقة بصوبر دي جيو وان اوصى لأمورنا يوحي يوحي مفكي الربا انو جعلا قادر وجعلا من عيد انو راقو وجعلا انا يوحي قبل يسي نصيب وضع انا دونيت جرين كران وغولانج GoFundMe page officially family go for it like our integration team in a room for it. I would like to welcome our next speaker. She's someone who is very close to Hodan, loved her dearly, have known her for years. She also happens to be a member of parliament of Etobicoke North and the Minister of Science and Sports. Please help me welcome Honorable Kristen Duncan. Committee 
at the Parliament of Canada. She was nothing short of amazing, and she asked government to know her beautiful community and to work with her community. My friend Hodden was a true leader who always put others before herself. And despite the challenges, and there were challenges, barriers of integration, a lack of understanding of the culture and the religion she loved, lack of acceptance, and there were people who said she shouldn't be doing what she was doing, and that she would fail. Hoffman ignored them. And she kept, always kept her upbeat, positive attitude, and would just say, I have to follow my passion. Everyone always should follow their passion. And my friend Hoven was brave. She was courageous. She was a pioneer and a trailblazer. As you all know, she created and developed Integration TV, the first ever television show regarding the Somali community here in Canada and the first English television program for Smallies worldwide. And she succeeded. She was nominated by the Black Canadian Awards for Best Media Personality. And she, and she was one of just 25 journalists from around the whole world invited by the United Nations to speak on how to tell the stories of Somali people. <laughs> Yet despite her great success, my friend Hoven remained focused on what she loved most in the world, her boys, her family, and her community. If the opportunity did not serve one of those three loves, she would not take it. In fact, I heard her say many times, why should I do that? How does that help my community? Hawthorne was humble. She never talked about her accomplishments. But she celebrated every accomplishment of the Somali Canadian community. She was so proud to be Canadian and to be Somali. My brothers, my sisters, Hoven loved you, and in return, you loved her. And like you, I have lost a dear friend who I will deeply miss. I will miss her kindness, her laugh, her joy, and her tremendous love. We must all keep her legacy alive. She broke down barriers for this community and for women. And she gave Somali Canadians a strong voice here in Canada and internationally. I'd like to finish with what she said at the Parliament of Canada. Hoven said, the Somali people are strong, resilient people. And we are succeeding, and we will continue to succeed in Canada. We are Canadian. We are proudly Canadian. And just like you, we want our children to be successful in school, in the workforce, and in the Canadian society. To all of you, I want to say to her family, thank you for sharing this shining light with us. Good night, my dear friend. I keep you in my thoughts and prayers, and I promise to be here for your family and the community you loved. Mahatsinen.
want to make a quick announcement. Uh, when uh, beautiful Mona Nalae was booking this space, um, we were thinking how many people should we book it for? 300, 400? And she was like, you know what, I just opted just in case, 500. As you can see, we have a full house. As you can see, we probably brought out another 100 to 150 chairs. 800 chairs. Okay, well, I think she opted even more. So we're full house, people are standing outside, people are standing all around. If this is not love, I don't know what love is. Thank you. So thank you for showing the love. And, and we would get a count on how many of, of, of her fans around the globe are actually watching live with us as well. And we'll update you on that. Um, our next speaker is someone we're also very proud of. The first member, Somali Canadian member of parliament. That deserves the most, guys. <laughs> he is the member of parliament for York, York, York Southwestern and also the official critic for youth engagement. Please help me welcome Brother Faisal Hassan. with us, and I don't doubt 
that she had so much more to offer. She modeled the kind of change we hope for in this world. Compassion, kind, and positive. And now it is up to us to carry that message and that posit positivity forward on her behalf. And that is the reflection of my leader, Andrew Horvath, a friend to our sister, Khotan <coughs> Ahmed Saeed Naleya. I have met Khotan, and I am a friend and a distant cousin to Khotan. And uh, the time when I met was when her um, younger sister, Marwako Ahmed Saeed Naleya, was eaten in my office. And uh, I could tell the love she had for our community and the great leadership she had. And in 2014, Hodan launched uh, Integration TV and the rest is history. A platform showing positive stories of Somalis around the globe and breaking stereotypes. Hodon Nale was involved in voluntary and advocacy work for the Somali community. She found the Somali Refugee Awareness Project, which in 2011, here in Toronto, that she has presented the veteran Somali artist, late Sado Ali Wasame, with a live achievement award which we could see the eyes of uh, Allah Abu Harista, Sada Ali Warsum's eyes, how proud she was for Khotan Ahmed Sayyid Nale. A desire to focus on positive and ultimately inspire Somalis around the globe to come together and work for betterment of their families. A work redefining the global Somali identity through positive storytelling. She moved back to Somalia last year, an effort to tell positive stories of her home country through an independent platform, Integration TV. She told uplifting and inspiring stories about Somalis and Somalia. Her work highlighted how people were beating the odds amid the lack of prospects and deepening insecurity. Through her work, she traveled throughout Somalia, engaging local folks, young, old, and of course, empowering women, our sisters and our mothers. She loved Somalis and Somalia. While in Somalia, she too perfected her Somali language skills. Her work empowered and encouraged women to be leaders. We will remember the phrase she coined, Iskanik Na. Up like a woman. And when she visited her own, uh, the city in which she was born, in Las Anon, she visited a coffee shop. And it comes to the Somali proverb, Rajna Washa, Tomarna Washa. Men for tea, women for talk. <laughs> and we've seen her reaction to that. She shows her leadership right now, and I quote what she said. I tried to have tea at the local spot for best tea in Las Anod called Mubarak. But it didn't go too well. It is an all-male place, and I was basically kicked out. <laughs> Their tea is amazing, and they need a special section for the women. Women deserve good tea, too. <laughs> and wherever she goes, we can see her work empowering young women mothers and sisters. We are proud 
of Hotel Malaya. And I would like to end, you know, on my time, but I would like to end to remember what she has told us, what she has said to me. I want you to hear this. Every dreamer in this room, they are people whose lives are tried, are tied to your dream. Own them. Own your stuff. Own your business. Own yourself. And we inspired millions of Somalis around the globe to share their stories to be authentic. where they are, where they come from. Because all that we've known from our country is war. All that we have known from our country is division. All that we have known from our country is all the negative things. And I will end this as she told us about July 4th. The most important value I have learned being in Somalia is patient. Being patient with my brothers and sisters who have witnessed war and conflict is the least I can do. We can never know the damage war has done, but we can be understanding and patient. And, to, and, and we are so proud for our sister, Hodan Ahmed Sayyid Malay. <coughs> Thank you, Faisal, for making us smile, for remembering Holland's uh, sayings and pro proverbs she used. The beauty of our sister Holland, Allah Hamhaida, was that she loved even those who did not give her love back. One of her latest tweets were about needing to be patient with our people who had gone through calamity and war. And one of my favorite sayings, Somali sayings, proverbs that I've never heard before was, <laughs> which translates to give your enemy beautiful, sweet milk. You know? So attract them with love regardless of what they do. It's my honor to introduce the next two people onto, and welcome to the stage. Please help me welcome Father Dalai Hamza's beautiful niece, Samia, and her amazing brother, Abdul Latif.
everyone that crossed her path. She encouraged and uplifted others. That's what brought her joy. That was who she was at her core. Starting from a young age at home with her family members. Hudlin has 11 siblings, 20 nieces and nephews, and two sons. Out of the 20 nieces and nephews, there are only three nieces, me being the eldest. For 13 years, I was her only niece. I had no sisters, and for a while I wished for one. I looked at the bond my mom had with her seven siblings, her seven sisters, and I wanted that. But I didn't get that. I got something better. I was blessed with my hubbles.
That's the look she had. She focused on helping people above all else. The work she did here in Canada was to bridge the gap between first and second generation Somalis. She worked to tell positive stories and put an end to stigmas within the Somali community, focusing on issues such as mental health, single motherhood, and the list goes on. The story she told helped the Somali youth and the Somali diaspora strengthen their cultural identity. I am a second generation Somali youth. For a long time, I felt a disconnect between myself and my Somali culture, as I was so accustomed to Western ideologies and I did not speak the language. When I attempt to communicate in Somali, I'm understandably mocked for butchering the language. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, when Huddin moved back home from America with the intent on pursuing integration TV, her Somali wasn't the greatest. That didn't discourage her from trying. She took the time to learn and practice the language so that she could tell our stories and be the voice for our people. She encouraged me to continue to practice and not be embarrassed of being mocked. She would say, Samia, of Somali Kahlo, which translates to uh, speak Somali. I would say, Juan Fahme, but come on, help me, Kahlo. I understand, but you can't speak it. <laughs> she would say, Kahlo, learn. She ultimately encouraged me to get in touch with my Somali identity. Well then, I will continue to practice and try. built a level of understanding and sought acceptance. She knew this wouldn't happen overnight. So she spent endless hours, days, and years trying to accomplish this. The greatest way of understanding is through sacrifice, personal sacrifice. She gave up her security, her home, and the life she built here in North America, her comfortability, and the promise of inspiring others. That was the ultimate sacrifice. And that is the true embodiment of humanity. After Holland moved to Africa, she came back to Canada for a two-week trip. She told me how much she loved it there. She loved the land and its people. She talked about how free she felt. She was different. The same look in her eye that she had when she started this journey was back. And it was brighter. She was so happy. That was the last time I saw her, and the look I'll always remember. <laughs> Many Somali Canadians have yet to return to their country. The picture of the country they have in their heads is one of war and despair. Hoven saw something different. She saw growth and potential our homeland has to offer. But more importantly, she saw people, our people. Her mission was to show the rest of the world the beauty of Somalia, the beauty of its land and its people. She wasn't afraid of the dangers the land posed. Yes, a hateful act took her away from us. But we shall not let hate win. not want us to be fearful. <coughs> Her mission will continue through me and through all of us. Nag is
powerful. Kevin, you shaped me into the woman I am today. <coughs> and because of you, now we'll spend the day out. What a speech. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Greetings. I want to thank you all for coming tonight. I would like to start my speech with some quotes from our holy book, the Quran, which highlights the purpose of life and death. Death is not a disaster but simply a passing from this world onto the next. It should make us reflect and ponder about the purpose of life and what will become after us, after, after, after us, when we decease. One does not prepare for death by preparing funeral services or selecting a coffin in advance. It's about fulfilling one's purpose in life. To worship Allah and God alone. To live according to His commandments and perform good deeds. The concept of worship in Islam is all encompassing, encompassing and is not merely restricted to praying. In fact, an action that is pleasing to Allah is considered an act of worship, and a person will be rewarded for it. I am Holland's youngest brother. I can repeat. For those of you who don't know me, even though Holland was my older sister, I had a great relationship with my sister. I respected her so much. We built a lot of great memories together. She was one of my eight sisters who was like a mother to me and helped raise me along with my other siblings. She was very instrumental in helping me become the man, the brother, the husband, and the father I am today. One of my fondest moments and memories of her was a time she was eager and wanted to perfect her Somali cooking. And I volunteered to be her taster. As her passion grew for wanting to get it right and knowing the type of person my sister was, she was going to perfect that dish and many more. I wish that all of you could have experienced her cooking, especially her hill in the hall. Sorry, boy, but her hello was a little bit better. <laughs> I want you, I want to leave you off with a true story about Paula and what type of person she was. One Friday afternoon at a mosque after Friday prayers, she saw a man that was frantically looking for his shoes. Paula offered to help to locate his shoes and asked other people at the mosque if they saw his shoes. Unfortunately, no one could locate the man's shoes. Holden then proceeded to act and asked the man what his shoes looked like 
What size were they? What color were they? She told him that she would be back shortly. At that time, Poland took it upon herself to go out and buy this man a pair of shoes. This is the kind of... This is the kind of kind of person Poland was. A loving, caring, and compassionate person who was always willing to help another person. I want everyone in this room and around the world to extend and hand out and reach out to one another and always inspire to do good deeds. Poland encourages us all to make a difference in the lives of the communities we serve and to come together as one to move our people forward. I hope and I pray that all of us will push one another to continue Holden's work and encourage our Somali diaspora to get in touch with their identity. May Allah reward her the highest levels of Jannah. Amen.
that under the US and reminding its people that their beloved country of Somalia is still alive and its people from coast to coast are connected and have a lot of positive things to celebrate and share. She died integrating their hopes and aspiration for their beloved in our country. that descended on the land of the Somalis. She was a shining star. <laughs> I urge the Somali Canadian leader youth, as an elder, to follow Holland in her example and keep that shining star shining. Hashis kama ayo kalau hai huriyar ala 
iyo nama heli karaan hugaan na maay rabaan hadda kheer gaari lay hortee nay humayin harayat mandafaya ha ugey sobiraan ha yigey nagadilaan ha lista woy wahi shadaan hoygi nabada otaran wuhu hadaf kooduya hal kheer qarhi na gubna wuhu hadaf kooduya hal kheer qarhi na gubna waha hortoo kugala Awet mati ya aku, hatta nama syalai yang pohei boi farhasin. Fadlul kalau tidak ya, boi si farhasin. Walau hadumat bunyai, walau rawuh hormai karah, walau muhadir yarai, halak kisopi kebuhi orang mau kudai. Iski buku haulana hebe nak kila di lah, hatta buih mau buih gay, buk ianu beri ruis. إلهي ما هو شيء واحد كيسه شيء فيه ولا أحد بيت ليه هو يا ود ليه الحباب ود كان له رينينو هدي يدق بعك شيء هميلا وعم بيلهاي هن يرجع بيلهاي ودني له بيلهاي كوه ولندر كيلهاي كوه لندر كيلهاي كوه لندر كيلهاي ودي بروي كيلهاي ودي بروي كيلهاي Hagogan ayah ayah, hanusan ayah ayah, dah sejak bayi ayah, alhamdulillah sudah ayah, hanti yang mal masuklah, wana hati ini harus hati untuk hasil sultan, ia hau kira. Rezeki hodan ayah, dia dihodan ayah lah, itu kerja aku macam tu je. Abla hanya guna kawan. Insya Allah Taala Sabiya Sumaya Zahra Faiza. Rakis kita gue ini rakis kita. Inti alaman alhaji itu hendak sihir hawan yang kedua lawan sihir. Of course tak kuli kan aku kau kahai. إسماعيل كريدي يا أروحي يا فرحتي ما كرنا اسم فرحة بني ولقي أيضا في نقص المعارك لأنه كنت أنا قاعدين ولقي ماشي سوكا ندبيسي بحملي يا إيفنت إمري من اللي بدها هي سوكا نحنا أو سوينا مالي اللي بدها هي بين الجلسة وجب الشيك اللي معمول لك هما محلنا هي إلهي هذا يهوست هو يجنة الفردوس ينحرس تزاه ويو وما كان نسأل مكان كذا مكان خير قبل الله كذيجو ونسوي دعينا إن شاء الله تعالى أدعى السلام فيها السلام عليكم
were asked to either address two things. One question was, what did you learn from Odin? The second question was, what would you like to do with her legacy? And for myself, I'm going to start with two things. And let me introduce myself first of all. My name is uh, Sethna in Somali. My English friends know me as Sahara. I'm best known as the sister that shared the middle with Odin. I often would introduce myself as I share the middle with Odin. And to sadly say today that I no longer be sharing the middle with Odin. I will be that middle child. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, a, of a, a poet by the name of Mary Oliver. And Mary Oliver has this amazing poem called Instructions for Living. And I would say to you this poem best represents the life Odin lived. And the way the poem goes is be attentive. Be astonished and tell about it. And Odin was really good at telling stories. Telling stories about our people in Canada, in the US, and in, in Somalia. And most of all, what I will miss about Odin is her ability to be astonished by simple things that we all take for granted. Simple things like spending time with family, with friends, with celebrating the accomplishments that our youth, our elders have, have made or have done. And I will miss Odin very much. And my heart is broken into a million pieces. And I'm really sorry that we lost her on Friday because she was too young to have been lost. Thank you very much. with us right now. She's here. This is what she wanted to see, not to talk about how she lost her life, but how her legacy will continue. My last communication with Linda was inspired by me the day before. She sent me a picture of driving her kids to school and walking them back as they play what's called a Begahan rocks in their way back to smile from school. And then she said, there is no playgrounds here and there's no swings. And I said, well, we have to do something about it. So how we're going to continue her legacy is to build the swings, as Hassan, her son, would say. We need to give them swings and play around with a smile in honor of Holden and her beautiful husband. <laughs>
Assalamualaikum. My name is Rupar Akhman. I am Madan's nephew. I'll carry on your legacy by as a diaspora going back first to small and shop. Thanks for giving me the history of small and so we can make change and make long lasting change so we can all keep what's happening in the past. We will use Helen's strength and tenacity push ourselves forward and keep doing our shit. <coughs> Thank you. Good evening everyone. Uh, Salam alaikum. I'm uh, Ayin Nalaya. I'm Holden's oldest sister. And I just wanted to say she was the most amazing human being. She's always, always, always taught me. Smile. Go back to school, get your degree, you can do anything you want, I am. And I tell you the truth, I miss her every second, every minute, but I know she's with me every single day. And I want you guys all to know she was the most amazing mother, hardworking, <coughs> I've ever met in my life. Thank you. My name is Mohamed Ahmed. Uh, I'm, I'm Holland's nephew. Uh, I just want to say thank you to her. She pushed all of us to do our best. She she fought for what she wanted. Um, she was so happy. I always remember her laugh when she was happy. She always did what she wanted and she pushed me through school. I just want to say thank you to her. Um, my name is Nassim Kelly. Um, I'm Hoden Ski. I'm his nephew. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Ryan makes me. She was a role model. She always pushed for what she wanted. She never gave up on her dreams. And the day it all happened, I called her and she was so happy. And she was like, I can't wait to see you again. And I know no matter what, I see her with me now, I feel like she's with me now. She was an aunt, she was a sister, she was a daughter, she was a mom, and now she's an angel. Rest in peace, Hubble. I love you. Salam alaikum. My name is Shishara Mohammed. I am holding the ladies. Love you. Hubble taught me to be strong and be proud to be small and love your people. And oh, oh, we love you and we miss you. <laughs> I'm gonna try this again. Thank you for everybody for coming out tonight. Um, this truly is a loss for humanity. As in, all that didn't just love her community, uh, she loved everybody. And something she definitely is gonna leave with me is that you can always reinvent yourself. It's never too late. Uh, as long as you're breathing, you can really shape who you want to be. Oh. 
My family will all be in the lobby. We have six minutes to get to the lobby. Please sit down and watch the video. Again, everybody, please sit down. Thank you for showcasing the beauty of our country and for teaching us to appreciate our beautiful culture. 
And thank you, Mullen, for uh, reminding us of Allah and teaching all Somalis to love and heal again. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mullen Muhammad for the Kenya. Thank you, Mullen, for your influence in my life in a sad and positive way. What is coming to place in my appreciation? You are truly an inspiration. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mullen Muhammad. To many women and girls in the dark community camp, King, you remain there for more days. In 2011, you came to the dark community camp to highlight the suffering of Somali refugees to them visiting UNDCR High Commissioner Antonio Gutierrez. It is for this reason and many others that we love you. Till we meet again. Rest in peace. And hello everyone, my name is Ahmed. I'm the host of Real Caracter and the last person of the mother you're working with. So I just want to say thank you, Holland, for believing in me. Thank you for making the work at the best I will work together the best day of my life. And thank you for making Somalia great again. Thank you. Thank you, Holland, for being a change maker in our community. We'll miss you, but your legacy will stay with us forever. Thank you, Holden. We will never forget you. Rest in peace. My name is Dwayne Holness, and I just want to say thank you, Odan, for giving me some of the best experiences of my life. Um, we shared so many laughs, showed so many tears, um, and you know, we spoke about dreams and how to better the world, and you truly were better in the world. Um, everywhere you went, everybody you touched was inspired. You've taught me so much, and I'm glad that I was able to learn, and now I'm a better person. What you started, um, was truly revolutionary. And I always tell people that you were the Oprah of Africa. Thank you so much for what you've done. What did you want? Video. I do yeah. Omni TV, Somali program. Oh, yeah. So, do you have any footage you can give it to me? Any video tech? Video? video, uh, so we do uh, like these videos? Those yeah. videos from Bamba? This one is uh, on the, this one is maybe I can ask the family. Yeah. Uh, at some of the events. Events, yeah, yeah. So, this is actually being live streamed on YouTube. Oh, it's YouTube. So, if you go to YouTube, you can actually download this whole thing. But, um, is there a way I could get any footage? Any other footage? Because this one, you cannot put any TV. Yeah, it's not, yeah, we, we, we don't have a high quality okay. video right now. Uh, the guy who was recording, do you know? The guy who oh, was recording the he camera. He took photos. Photos. Photos only, yeah.
Uh, do you want me to continue this or continue throughout? Okay, got it, got it. Can you hold it for two seconds? It's hot. taking over.
It's burning hot, eh? Finally finished.
the full circle I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down and go show the I'm gonna show the thing and then thing. No problem, no problem. Okay, okay, thank you. I think it's tough, really tough. I just want for everyone that's there there still. Thank you for joining us uh, in Sullivan's life. Uh, we miss her, we love her and uh, you know she she will be in all our thoughts and prayers. Thank you. Amen. I mean. Thank you, Lord.